Hey guys, so today I have my sister with me and I did her makeup the other day to bring her to an event with me for once. It was actually really nice to have my sister um, come to an event with me. I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'm just going to do her brows first and I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Expert in Ebony just to fill in her eyebrows. I actually don't enjoy doing her eyebrows, they're so hard to do because I actually need to shape them for her. I remember once I shaped them for her and they looked so good because her eyebrows are so thick that you need to trim them a little bit towards the end so i need to do it for her one day oh my god if you guys want to see me do it on camera let me know if she lets me of course <laughs> i also did uh, use some of the benefit brow setter to set her brows in place and i'm using the nyx gotcha covered conceal in golden to carve out her brows and clean them up a bit now i'm using the glam glow glow setter glow starter moisturizer <laughs> i always get confused with the name but this one's in sun glow you can see i'm almost finished oh my god this this moisturizer is so so good but i'm just applying this on her skin because she has more like drier skin so yeah i put this first and then i'm using some of the fenty beauty pro filter primer and i'm just applying this mostly on the cheek area around her mouth area as well i kind of did avoid the forehead area because she is a bit dry around there so because it's a matte product i just avoided that um i'm also using the fenty beauty pro filter prime uh, foundation i use this one i know i keep using it but honestly guys it's such a good foundation when we go out and stuff we always go for this she literally wants to get herself one it's just such a good foundation it photographs so nice it makes your skin look so lovely so i put that all over her face and then i'm using the makeup revolution concealers the new ones i'm using c12 first underneath her eyes the ridge of her nose and her forehead and i also mixed in with c10 which is a bit lighter and i put that in the same places and on her eyelids as well just blended all of that out with my damp beauty blender <laughs> i weren't supposed to do that but <laughs> i'm using the kat von d loose setting powder just to set all that in place and i use a tinsy bit amount of powder for a whole face even though it looks like i put a lot i really didn't um, and I wasn't supposed to tip it over like that. I'm just so dumb. The way my sister looked at me like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, you put it everywhere. <laughs> um, but we were so in a rush. This is why I haven't showed some of the products in front of the camera because we were such in a rush. Um, and then here we're using the Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter Palette in medium dark shift. And I'm using that contour shade to contour her cheeks, um, hairline, nose and jawline. Basically just to give a bit of definition to her face. Um, and then I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter in number two. It's the gold one. I'll link everything in the info box as always guys. And I'm just highlighting the highest points of her face. And after that i am brushing off the excess powder underneath her eyes once you i love this powder so much because once you brush it off it looks so nice and matte and just looks really flawless i'm also grabbing my anastasia world traveler palette i don't even know what this palette is called anymore i think it's world traveler or shadow couture palette it's not available anymore but you can get the shades individually and i'm using this silver shade i'll write it and try to link the individual shade in the info box but i'm used to just applying that roughly on her lids the silver shade i wanted i wanted this look to be like more of an effortless soft smoky eye so i used some of noir which you can also get individually it's like one of the best black black eyeshadows ever in the new anastasia soft glam palette there's noir in it and i'm so excited i can't wait to get my hands on that palette but yeah, I'm just um, lining her upper and lower lash line with the black, the noir. And then I use some of Morocco and Fudge, which again, you can get individually. And just use them to kind of soften the black a bit on the lower lash line. I also use some of Bobbi Brown's Silver Moon Sparkle Eyeshadow to give that kind of soft sparkly shimmer on the lid. So I tap that on the silver with my finger. This eyeshadow look was so so pretty like so smoky but so it looks just it just looks so effortless so i put some of the l'oreal miss baby roll mascara as well on her bottom and top lashes <laughs> showing off her minion t-shirt i think she was getting a bit tired there um the lashes we used were the huda beauty jade lashes these are really really nice for her eye shape and it just makes her eyes look super cat eyed and wispy it's just so pretty and I used the Huda Beauty Lash Glue as well. There you go. I think it looks so nice on her. Um, but on the lips now, we're using 
MAC Cork Lip Pencil. It's one of my favourite lip, lip pencil colours ever. And I'm just lining her lips. And then after that, I'm using this matte lip colour from Poundland. I forgot the shade, but I'll try and find it in, and link it in the info box. But it's such a nice colour. Like, this colour was so perfect for this look. So I just put this... Um, on her lips kind of creating that gradient lip color look and then I also use some of the Huda Beauty um, lip strobe I don't know which color but I'll try and link it and find it and link it in the info box I'm so bad with shades and stuff there's just so much to remember and I'm just touching up with the lipstick pencil again she didn't want it to look wonky <laughs> so then after that I did use some of the makeup forever highlighter again and highlighted her inner corners to add a bit of light in that area and I'm also using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink and I apply this on her upper and lower waterline to really blacken and intensify that eye look. She didn't really like it but anyways I had to do it, you know, you have to do it. <laughs> um, after that, I think that's it guys, um, that's the finished look. She didn't do much posing because I wasn't there to watch what she was doing so she literally posed for like a second. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!